So, a lot of students really worry uh, about interviews. Many students have never had an interview of any kind before. But the thing to remember is you're not alone. Everyone's in the same position. And if you're a good candidate, you will prove that. So please do not worry. But to make sure you understand what's expected of you on the day, let's, let's talk through our interviews at Homerton and how they're performed. So firstly, wh why do we interview? Well, what I'm looking for, uh, as I've said, is I want to understand your achievements in maths and physics and other related subjects, and I need to see your enthusiastic about engineering. The ways you might show that, um, or show that enthusiasm, are through your hobbies or your interests. Have you taken part in any engineering schemes or done any work experience? Have you considered any choices that you might make from our course? Those are the sort of things uh, that will make it evident that you have a keen interest in engineering. Now, more specifically, there are seven points I look to cover in an interview. Number one. Can you apply established knowledge to a new unusual situation or new and unusual situations? Well, how do I assess this? Well, I will set you a problem for which you have the necessary knowledge to solve it, but you must figure out what knowledge and how to apply it to the new scenario that I present you, such as applying a known mathematical model to a new real world situation or new real world problem. So that's point one. Point two, how well do you absorb and apply new information? So for this, I'll ask you a question that requires you to learn something new on the spot, and I will teach you that. Then I'll ask you to apply this freshly learned information to a new problem yourself. This could be a, teaching you a new way or trick for calculating, for example, a force in a system, then asking you to use that method I've taught you and apply it to a new system. So that lets me see how effective you are at absorbing and applying something uh, to a new problem, which is a, a key skill that you will need during your time at Cambridge. Point three. How can you spot or can you spot connections between different elements of a problem? For example, if as you progress through the interview, could you use a solution to a previous problem in order to answer a new problem? And can you see the connections between those different scenarios? Because engineering is a very complex subject and it is multidisciplinary. So you will inevitably be taking things that, salt, that produce solutions in one aspect of engineering and applying them to other problems. So we need to see if you're capable of doing that. Okay. Number four, how independently can you tackle these sort of problems? Are you willing to challenge yourself and do these independently? Or do you need a lot of assistance? Of course, everyone needs some help from time to time, so don't panic in the interview if, if you need some help. But we're just looking at, you know, if you need to be handheld or are you relatively independent in how you tackle these problems? Can you explain your understanding or are you only good at reciting equations? Some people can be very good at exams, but really they don't make the sort of bright engineer that we're looking for. So that's something that we'll examine. How reliable um, are your mathematical skills? Are you error prone or are you inaccurate? Um, do you make a lot of errors? That's something we'll look at when we're doing the mathematic, mathematical problems during your interview. And finally, how effective are you at time management? And this is a really important one because Cambridge is a significant workload and relies a lot on how good you are going to be at independently organizing your time. Now, 
what I think one of the key benefits of Homerton is you have a lot of support here to help you through this. And I in particular will help you in developing your schedule and your time management when you arrive. But you need to be relatively capable. You know, I can't, I can't teach you everything. And, uh, and so in the interview, I need evidence or in your application as a whole, I need evidence that you are good at time management. So something that you're probably all wondering, well, how can you prepare uh, for this? Well, try tackling problems available at places such as I want to study engineering. If you Google, I want to study engineering, you'll come up with a very useful site and those uh, have questions that make great practice um, for interview style questions. So I strongly recommend you have a look at I want to study engineering. You should focus on your academic potential and evidencing that motivation for engineering. Just don't focus too much on extracurricular because that's, that's less important to us. And make sure you think of why you want to study engineering. So be aware of the sort of key areas um, or the key topics of interest in engineering in general, or if you like, um, the key topics in your specific area of interest. And of course, don't forget, I will only ask you things you've already learned in school, except for one aspect of which you're not meant to know. That's that new application of new information. And that's the intention is that you don't know that. So do not panic. Everything else is based on your schoolwork. And finally, just, just try not to be too anxious. Probably the best advice I, I, I can give you. If you're good enough, you will show it. Anxiety will only make it harder for you to show us that. So dress comfortably. Uh, all I want to see is, is your academic potential. Whether you wear a suit or not makes no difference to me, really. It's, it's much better that you're comfortable and in the best position to show your abilities in the interview. And should that all go well, we decide in January who we're going to make offers to. But Cambridge runs something called the pool, which is in a nutshell when we don't make you an offer directly, but we believe that you are good enough to study at Cambridge, we propose you to other colleges for them to consider you as an applicant. And we do this to allow moderation, to compare the, the standard of students across different colleges and ensure that the best students are getting in across the board. So this means that you might get pulled and offered a place from another college that wasn't your first choice college. With or without an interview, depends on, on what the college that's making you an offer chooses. Or you might not be selected from the pool and be rejected. And you will be informed of this um, as, as soon as possible. <laughs> 